What's going on guys? Well, I came out here because I had an idea. I was thinking about all the places that I want to go fishing. And uh, obviously you can see like over here the water's frozen, but it warmed up the last couple days and it's a little bit too sketchy. I tried walking on the edge and it was already cracking. So unfortunately I can't go out here today. However, I was thinking about all the places that I've lost lures and that where other people lose lures. I mean, this is a popular fishing spot. There's a golf course on the other end here. And I can already see a bunch of lures stuck in these trees. So people will cast out towards the shoreline, get caught in a tree, snap off, and obviously their lures are sitting there. So that's free for the picking, right? If you can get out on the ice, you can just walk over and grab them. In fact, I'm looking at, let's see. <laughs> yeah, let me blow up the picture from here. That doesn't work out, does it? I could see... There's a lure there, there's a lure right there. Uh, if I come up higher, there's a lure right there, bright orange. There's a ton of them, all up and down the bank. Now I'm gonna go visit a couple other, you know, fishing locales to see if the ice is a little bit thicker, but I got this idea a couple days too late. Uh, like I said, I mean, last week we had, you know, negative, uh, whatever it was, negative 10, negative three, even when it was warmer, quote unquote warmer it was like five ten degrees out so the ice is plenty thick it just so happens that we had a warm front come in it's been like 50 55 degrees the last two or three days so like you know all on the edges is where it's cracking and breaking and it's too uh too nasty to uh, to get out there obviously if i fall in i'm only going to be maybe waist high it's not like you know life-threatening but I, I don't feel like being that cold and then jumping in my car get my car all wet so uh not the time today but I think it's a great idea. And I'm sure a lot of people already do this. You, know, you go out when the lakes are frozen, the ponds are frozen everywhere, and you just start searching for all those lures on the bank side where everyone gets snagged up and they can't get to them. So I'm going to try a couple different uh, locations here, see if I can get lucky and find something. The very first time I ever fished out here... Oh, that's lovely. Someone walked their dog on there. There's a massive pile of dog crap sitting right there. Are people so courteous? Anyway. Um, first time I ever came out here to fish, I saw there was a, a fishing line like on the corner here and I grabbed it and I followed it and I wanted to kind of roll it up and throw it out so I wouldn't snag on it. Plus it's, it's garbage and you get broken off. I mean, you try to get rid of your garbage as much as possible. But anyway, so I was fishing through and it was like 20, 30 feet long when I finally got to the end of it. There was a nice, uh, fresh lure in there. It was brand new. It was like a, a crayfish type lure. And I thought that was pretty exciting, you know, to find that. So anyway. Long story short, I'm on the hunt for some uh, some free lures. Figure, why not? I'm out getting some fresh air. Starting to feel a little bit better. I'm still sick. I'm kind of on the tail end of it now. And I just wanted to get outside. I've been, you know, cooped up. And I had this idea, and I thought, wow, it's such a, such a great idea. Never really thought of that before. Like I said, I'm sure plenty of guys already do this all the time. But I'm looking at, I like a Rapala right there. The, actually, the second one on the bottom is a bobber, which probably has a hook on the end of it somewhere. And up there, that might be, I'm not sure what that is, that bright orange one, but I'm telling you, all on the bank, mostly in the trees, but other places, I'm, I'm sure there's some, some nice lures out there, and a bunch of cheap stuff too, some, uh, you know, hooks that are half rotten and, and rusted away, but you never know what you're going to find, so it's just kind of a fun little activity to do, as long as the ice is nice and safe, I'm sure there's, there's plenty of stuff to be found, so yeah, just uh, kind of thinking about that, if I find something... I'll let you guys know back when I get home. All right, so I was about to leave, and guess what I found? First, I saw this, right? Some more fishing line just sitting here, which is garbage, next to the garbage, mind you. And then I looked over here, and there's actually a lure sitting on the ground. It's a tube, which is uh, pretty rotten out. This one's not worth saving, but just proof. I mean, there's going to be lures everywhere. So, I don't know why this didn't make it here. I mean, it's very nice to have a garbage here. But, yeah, I mean, looking around, there's, there's stuff everywhere. That's someone's garbage. Why didn't that make it right here? Don't know. But, anyway. So, yeah, I will uh, be on the hunt. Go to a couple uh, different locations. If I find something, I'll let you know. More garbage. Oh, slipping on the ice there. <sighs> really? Come on, it's right next to the road. More than likely someone was drinking and driving and threw it out their window because there's no drinking allowed over here. What's wrong with people? Seriously, more garbage. 
I don't pick up cigarette butts. I'm sorry. I'm doing, I'm doing my part best I can, but I ain't touching no one's nasty butts. So anyway, that's it. I'm uh, heading to another location. Maybe I'll film there. Maybe I won't. But we'll see. Don't want to slide on this ice. Whoa. Slippery. All right, here's another spot that I uh, love to fish. You guys have seen me fish here multiple times. The boat launch over here. Right. Nice uh, extended dock. Yeah, I mean, the ice is already starting to melt. I know it's thick. It's just where I want to go is just on the edge, and that's where it's thinnest, you know? sick so uh, some little seagulls or something sitting out there having a little powwow just hanging out on the ice maybe there's a uh, ice fishing hole out there or something <laughs> they're looking to get some fish all in and around these uh, I was almost gonna say toolies but cattails I watch too many YouTube channels fishing channels <laughs> right uh, Tactical bass and I call these toolies, but here in Pennsylvania I call them cattails. So anyway, awesome little cove over here. Uh, I've gotten two large bass. I think I show both of them on camera. Pulled out of here, maybe I don't know, like 18, 19 inches. I don't know, two and a half, three, three and a half pounds, somewhere around that range. And I mean that's big for me. Um, but I've gotten massive bites over here and lost it. I had one time I had an, an awesome, awesome fish on the line. And it just snapped the line and that was it and i was fishing i think 15 pound tests so and i was cranking on it pretty hard trying to get him in and just it snapped that was it i don't know if it's just it was all the fish or if maybe the uh the line had a you know weak spot in it who knows but anyway i was i was hoping to get in over here again all these cattails there's plenty of lures over there from people fishing it getting snagged and, and breaking off but it's too sketchy don't want wet feet, wet legs. Not today, anyway. Here's some more line. So I'm talking about. This is garbage. If you're fishing and it breaks off and you can reach it, take it with you. You brought it there. Right? There's garbages. All, I mean, specifically in this area, there's garbages all over the place. I see a bobber right over there. But I can't. I don't think I can get to that right now. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's just one of those things. You bring in, bring in garbage with you, don't leave it. So anyway, this is kind of a bust as well. But that's okay, I'm gonna check a couple more spots. See what I can find. And like I said, if I find something, I'll certainly get back to you. A lot of times I do find uh, rubber, <laughs> people's used rubbers, which I don't recommend touching. Uh, rubber worms, you know, different types of creature baits things like that but a lot of times when they sit in the water they just deteriorate you know they fall apart they kind of swell up they get all deformed and, and too soft and stuff so those aren't really reusable like the tube i showed you earlier it was like all bubbly and not really falling apart yet but not ideal to fish with it's the hard plastics that i'm looking to uh you know to find so i can reuse those and actually fish them see see how easy this is garbage garbage in the garbage they even have recycling how about that and look at that dog bags so you can pick up your dog crap a lot of people come to these places to walk their dogs take massive dumps and then they leave i don't get it so anyway that's all moving on to another spot all right guys i'm home no such luck let gus out to go to the bathroom um yeah, I went one other spot after I uh, was done filming, but without getting out in the ice, I can't. I mean, I could see lures literally just stuck in trees and shrubs and different types of weeds and stuff, but just can't get to them. So maybe in the future, if we get another cold blast and, you know, the edges uh, solidify a little bit better. But I don't take chances, not for a $4 lure. It's just kind of fun looking anyway. So, but just spreading the idea uh, for anyone out there, if you happen to live in a colder climate or 
you have to remember one day and nothing going on it's winter time the, all the lakes and ponds and stuff are frozen over pretty solid something to do if you like fishing and you want some free lures right Gus you know what I'm talking about right <laughs> he's like no no idea what you're talking about so anyway that's it say bye Gus say bye bye all right <laughs> see you guys tomorrow take care